Hello again, and it's uh, Foley time again. This is plan B, right, because the um, Foley pit I got before was a cement mixing tray, it was plastic, too much resonance with the floor, so the uh, rather kind guys who are building a house out of the back of my garden have given me a loan of a paving slab. Well, actually, I think they've given it to me, and they cut it in half rather nicely. So, first of all, that means I can pick it up without getting a hernia. And secondly, it means I've got two slabs for walking on, so I'll do this. Um, this here is an occasional table. Most of the time it's an elephant, but occasionally it's a table. And I'm going to use that to simulate the style. So we'll be walking on, stop, get up on the style, jump down. Hopefully without too much floorboard noise. <laughs> um, this is just a blanket. Obviously that's acoustic reasons for that. Uh, there's a nice bass trap over there in the corner. I don't want the sound bouncing off there because the microphone's that side. So it's going to come in down towards the floor. Yep, we're all set. I've also got other sound effects such as bottle hits monster on head. Ow. And um, what else have I got? Uh, yeah, I've got my bag, got to do the foley with the bag, that's easy because I've had a prop for that, so i just use the same prop. Um, what else is on the list? Oh yes, um, mucus noises. This is quite disgusting, right? Um, I saw a thing about this online for alien autopsies. If someone's cutting into an alien's body, you put the microphone almost in your mouth and you go... and make opening mouth noises, and it's horrid. Yeah, so that's it. So we're all set for tonight. Uh, hopefully the neighbours will be quiet. Well, I'm going to wait till after midnight anyway. Turn the fridge off. Remember to turn it on again so I don't have any rotten food. And hopefully we'll get a lot of it done. We'll have to see. Wish me luck. Do you know, do you want to hear something funny? I sat down about to start this and my left foot kind of itched to hit the clutch and my left hand was going to check the gear lever. <laughs> 22 years of driving. Here we go. You won't be able to see the details, but what I'm actually doing is setting up the uh, sequence of tracks so that the folders on the screen are grouped by terrain type for one of the footsteps. So I'll do all the tarmac ones, then all the dirt track ones, then all the grass ones together so that I'm in that mode. Um, but then the actual sends from those tracks go via some group channels for me and Louis and the monster separately. The monster's name is Sully, by the way, I've decided. <laughs> because I couldn't say monster, it was M, which is the same as Mike, so the abbreviation didn't work. Um, some might call me a monster, who knows. So that's what I've done with the footsteps. Um, the other tracks I'm going to work out now. Cloth moves are going to be interesting, I haven't really thought about them yet, I might have to do them on a separate day. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll get all the footsteps done tonight, we'll see. Anyway, let's get on.
So there you go, that took about half an hour and um, I've got my project set up with a phony now with all the, the tracks rooted as I want them. So um, it just remains to wait three hours, it's now nine o'clock, for midnight to arrive <laughs> and then there'll be a less noise from the neighbours and I can get going. And the question is what do I do in the meantime? Strictly speaking I should probably go to sleep. But I might watch a film because I'm weak like that. I haven't had a cup of tea yet this evening and I'm really thirsty. Louis, if you're watching this, um, I hope you understand now how much work is involved in doing this stuff. I mean, that was half an hour just to set something up ready. And when you think about the, the size of a feature film with hundreds of people working on it, I think it's amazing that those things get finished at all under budget. It's amazing that ever happens because it's so many people and organising them all is an insanely difficult task. Um, yeah, and we're doing it on a small scale here. And admittedly, we're doing it over the top, kind of properly, pretending it's a feature film, which most people don't do with a film like this. But, you know, it's, it's not going to take very long compared with a big film. It's certainly in terms of how many people are working on it. Okay, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. And I'll see you later for the Foley. Bye. Right, well, it's quarter past one in the morning, so I'm thinking of leaving it here, um, but I don't know. It's a nice quiet night, maybe I'll carry on. I've got, hmm, let's see, I've done all the forest floor footsteps um, which I've done using this device here which is uh, basically made out of two pieces of A4 stapled together and then kind of shredded and I've put it on a cushion I, and by putting it on a cushion I've, I'm able to get kind of the sound of a, a foot hitting the, the ground as well as the leaves rustling which seems to work fairly well so, um, yeah, and I've, I've also recorded some lapping water for the river, which I did by filling the sink. I had to get the microphone really close to it because the traffic noise was actually coming through my window, even though it's from the other side of the house and it's like miles away, well not miles away. But anyway, lots of problems, but I've got all the forest floor stuff done, all the leaf, leaf rustling noises, so that's good. Yeah, doing well there. Possibly I might do some of my ADR again before I go to bed and I might also do a few of my footsteps. Maybe the getting over the style bits because they I know they're going to be tough. So I want to get them knocked on the head. But yeah, getting there slowly. <laughs> it's day one of the Foley and we're getting there slowly. I'm a poet and I don't know it. I'm also going a bit do lally because it's so late. But it's worth it. This is the Foley setup for the style board as we climb over the style. I needed something wooden sounding, but I couldn't climb on the table with the legs on the floor because it creaked and made all sorts of weird noises. So it, it turns out to be much better to just lay it flat on the floor upside down. So I step onto it from the, uh, from the, the basically the, the cloth that's on the floor. And uh, I've got the cushions there because it's amazing when you've got a sensitive good mic like I've got now you can hear every echo in the room it's unbelievable and you can just tell it's not outside so anything you can do to stop the sound reverberating around the room is a good idea anyway so there you go